In the last lesson, we talked about higher purchase agreements. And we discussed that a higher purchase is essentially like paying for an item in monthly installments. So you're going to have to pay a certain amount of money up front for that item. And usually that is just a percentage of the cost of the item. So you're paying a fraction of the cost of the item up front. And the rest of the money that you owe for that item is going to be paid over a period of time. And usually it is going to be paid in monthly installments over time. And of course, since that balance that you owe to the shopkeeper or, who, or whoever you're purchasing that item from is going to be an amount of money that is owed to them for some period of time, you are going to have to pay interest on that. So in a higher purchase agreement, you are going to be paying a fraction of the initial cost up front, but on the balance, you are going to have to pay back the balance plus some interest over a period of time, usually in monthly installments. And we saw that in the case of higher purchase agreements, you're always going to be paying simple interest. So we need to use the simple interest formula. And in this lesson, we're going to go over a few more examples so we can make sure that we understand that concept clearly. So this was the example that we ended on in our last lesson, where we had a TV that we purchased on a higher purchase agreement. The cost of the TV was 5,000 Rand, and the deposit was 12% of that. So we ended up paying 600 Rand up front for that TV. And the balance of that, which was the initial cost of the TV minus what we paid for it up front, was 4,400 Rand, and that is what we had to pay interest on since we were paying back this balance plus interest over a period of two years. And we saw that in total, when we calculated the total cost to us of this higher purchase agreement, that came out to 5,528 Rand. So it was a lot more expensive than if we were to actually just pay for the item up front. But as we'll see, in a lot of cases, that is not possible. A lot of people aren't able to afford the cost of some larger purchases up front. So they opt to purchase it on a higher purchase agreement where you pay less initially and then you pay back small amounts of money as monthly installments over time. So let's go over an example. Let's say you were purchasing a car and the cost of the car was 80,000 Rand. You didn't have that 80,000 Rand up front, so you decided to buy a higher purchase agreement. And that higher purchase agreement said that you had to pay a 10% deposit, that is how much you have to pay up front for that car, followed by monthly installments for a period of four years. And that is going to be at an 8% interest rate per annum. And the question is, what are the monthly payments? So the cost of this car is 80,000 Rand. And you are going to have to pay 10% of that up front in order to purchase this car. So let's start out by calculating how much we are going to need to pay up front. So what we're going to do is we are going to take 80,000 and calculate 10% of that. So 10% of 80,000 is 8,000. So 8,000 Rand is our deposit. That is how much we are going to have to pay up front at this car dealership. Now the balance, the balance is going to be what you still owe them for this car. So the car is worth 80,000 Rand and you have paid them 8,000 Rand. So to calculate the balance, you are going to take that 80,000 Rand and you're going to subtract what you have already paid. So you're going to subtract 8,000 Rand and that is going to give you your balance and that is equal to 72,000 Rand. So 72,000 Rand is what you are going to still owe them for this car. And that 72,000 Rand is going to be paid back in monthly installments for four years at an 8% simple interest rate per annum or per year. 
So what we first need to do is figure out the total amount of money we are going to need to pay them if we are including our interest. So to calculate that, we need to use our simple interest formula, where A, which is the money that is accumulated at the end of that term, in this case it's a four-year term, that is going to be equal to our principal multiplied by 1 plus our interest rate as a decimal multiplied by the number of years. So that is going to be equal to our balance, which is our principal. So that is 72,000 rand, 72,000 multiplied by one plus our interest rate in this case is 8% per annum. So 0.08 multiplied by our number of years. And in this case, it's four years. And if we plug this into our calculator, we are going to get that the total amount that we are going to have to pay them back, including our interest, is going to be 95,040 rand. So that is going to be the total, which is going to be this balance plus interest on that balance. And that comes out to this 95,040 rand. So now we have to calculate our monthly installments, right? Because this is going to be the total amount of money that we need to pay after those four years. But we're not paying it back as a lump sum at the end of the four years. We are going to be paying this back in monthly installments. So this total amount of money is going to be divided by the number of months in our term. We know that four years is equal to 48 months. So to calculate our monthly payments, we're going to need to take our 95,040 rand and divide that by 48 months. That is going to come down to 1,980. 80 rand that we are going to have to pay per month. So this is going to be the monthly payment that we are going to need to pay back. And by paying this 1,980 rand per month, after four years or 48 months, we would have paid back this 95,040 rand, which was our balance plus interest on that balance. So this is our final answer for our monthly payments. And if we were asked in this question to calculate the total cost of this higher purchase agreement, all we would have to do is take this number, this 95,040 rands, and add our 8,000 rand deposit. Because at the end of the four years period, that is what we would have paid back in total. We would have paid this amount per month, which comes out to 95,040 Rand, plus the 8,000 Rand that we paid up front at the point of purchase. In many cases, they also charge insurance premiums with higher purchase agreements. So in addition to paying your monthly charges, you're also going to have to pay an insurance premium that is also going to be a monthly cost. So let's look at an example where we include an insurance charge. Let's say you were buying a laptop that costs 10,000 Rand as a higher purchase agreement. There is an 8% deposit followed by monthly installments for three years. And this is going to be at 12% interest per annum. There's also going to be an insurance premium and that is going to be an insurance premium of 120 rand. So let's calculate what our monthly costs would be in this case. To start out, let's first figure out what this 8% deposit is going to be. So we are going to take the 10,000 rand, which is the cost of our laptop, and take 8% of that. So 10,000 times 0.08 is equal to 800. So 800 Rand is our 8% deposit. That is how much we are going to be paying upfront for this laptop. Then the balance is going to be what we are still going to owe for that laptop. So to calculate the balance, we are going to take the 10,000 Rand and we're going to subtract what we've already paid. So we're going to subtract our 800 Rand deposit 
and that is going to give us our balance and that is equal to 9,200 Rand. And this 9,200 Rand is what we are going to be charged interest on and we're going to be charged 12% interest per year for a period of three years on this 9,200 Rand. So to calculate that, we're going to take our simple interest formula, which is that A is equal to P times 1 plus I times N. And in this case, we are trying to calculate our A. Our P is our principal of 9,200 Rand multiplied by 1 plus our interest rate, which is 0 0.12 times our number of years, which is 3 years. And if you plug this into your calculator, you are going to get 12,512. So 12,512 Rand is what we are going to have to pay in total over those three years. And that is going to be our balance plus interest that we paid on that balance. So to calculate our monthly costs, we know that three years is going to be equal to 36 months. So we can take this 12,512 Rand and divide it by 36 in order to get our monthly payments. And that is going to come down to 347.55. So 347 Rand and 55 cents is going to be our monthly payment. But we have to remember that in addition, we are also being charged an insurance premium of 120 Rand. And this insurance premium of 120 Rand is going to be a monthly cost in addition to this over here. So our total monthly cost is going to be our 347 Rand and 55 cents plus 120 Rand, which is our insurance premium. So in total, our monthly payments are going to be 467 Rand and 55 cents. That is what we're going to have to pay per month for three years. Let's take a second and calculate the total cost of this higher purchase agreement. Our total cost is going to be our initial 800 Rand deposit. That was how much we paid at the point of purchase for this laptop. So we have our 800 Rand deposit plus 467.55 per month for 36 months. Remember in the last examples, we would just refer back to this amount as the additional amount that we paid for on top of our deposit. But in this case, this 12,512 Rand does not include our monthly insurance premium. We added our monthly insurance premium here to our monthly cost. So we have to take this number, this is the number that we are paying per month since this includes our insurance premium of 120 Rand. We're gonna multiply that by the 36 months that we are paying this amount. So we are going to take our 467.55 Rand and multiply that by 36. And that is going to give us our total cost. So our total cost comes out to 17,631 Rand and 80 cents. So that is going to be the total cost of this laptop if it was bought through a higher purchase agreement.